Okay. So, in the last lectures, we have discussed uh, the few concepts like open set, closed set, perfect sets, boundedness of the set in a general metric space. Today, we will continue with the same uh, with certain results related to these uh, sets and also few properties of this. So, before going, let us see that is uh, which is already known the segment a b, b means set of all real numbers x such that a is strictly less than uh, x less than b. Then this set we call it in open sets, open interval. Then segment a b means set of all those real numbers where a is less than equal to a less than equal to b. This is the closed interval and these are the semi closed intervals set x belongs to R such that A is less than equal to X less than B. Left hand it is bounded by the right hand side is open while this is uh, right hand side bounded and left hand side open. So, these are the semi closed intervals X X less than equal to B. These are. Now, we define the K cell in the space R K as follows. Let us suppose if A i is strictly less than B i for i equal to 1 to n say k, then the set of all points, then the set of all points, set of all points x having the coordinate x 1, x 2, x k in R k in R k R k mm, whose coordinate satisfied whose coordinate satisfy whose coordinate satisfy the inequalities inequalities a i is less than equal to x i is less than equal to b i for i is lying between 1 and k 1 and k is called is called a k cell k cell is called a k cell so, the meaning is that suppose in case of R 1 say R 1 the 1 cell means 1 cell means an open interval an open interval a 1 less than x less than b 1. So, this is a 1 cell a 1 and b 1 and all the points coordinate. So, basically this is the collection of this point x such that x lies between this. So, it is basically a set of x belongs to R such that x lying between a 1 and b 1. While in case of R 2 the 2 cell means the set of those interval x is say x 1 x 2 these are the points in R 2 R 2 such that x 1 lies between a 1 b 1 sorry this is equal to also ok b 1 while the x 2 lies between a 2 b 2. So, it means this is like uh, a rectangle uh, this is like a rectangle say this one is our rectangle this is x axis this is y axis and here is this rectangle. So, the points here is uh, these are the points say here is a 1 b 1 and while this point is a 2 b 2. So, x 1 lies here x 2 lies here. So, it is basically the range inside this a rectangle close rectangle bounded by it. 
So, similarly in case of R k we have a k cell the concept of k cell. Now, the concept of the open ball or the closed ball open ball or closed ball uh, B in all k cell in all k space is defined as is defined as uh, the set of all uh, defined as the set of all y whose distance in all k of course metric in all k metric from x x is a point in r k is strictly less than r is strictly less than r and when it is equal to r then it is called the closed ball and this is the open wall centered at x with radius r. So, it means the v centered at x with radius r in r k r k space where the x belongs to r k is the set of y y 1 by 2 say by k belongs to r k such that d of y x in r k is strictly less than r. Then this is the open wall and for closed ball and for the closed ball it is less than equal to x belongs to r such that d of y x is less than equal to r this is in r k is a closed ball. So, we sometimes denote also is a b bar x r closed ball for this. Okay. Now, we define the convex set in r k um, we call a set a set E subset R k subset of R k set to be convex a set is convex is set to be convex if uh, if lambda x plus 1 minus lambda 1 minus lambda y belongs to E whenever x which is x 1 x 2 x k belongs to E by which is y 1 by 2 y k belongs to E and lambda lying between a real number lying between 0 and 1. So, this set is said to be convex it means this is our set say E take the two point x and y and if the line segment joining these two points that is the lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y this is the set of all point in between x and y we got lambda lying between 0 and 1. So, the entire line segment if it also lies in E then the we say set E is convex in this set. Okay. Uh, obviously, this convex set uh, will always uh, uh, result or is a examples are every ball every ball centered say B x r open ball I am choosing open ball is convex is convex every ball is convex with centered x and radius r the reason is because because if we picked up the two elements from this ball say y and z let y and z belongs to the open ball centered at x with the radius r okay then by definition d of y x 
in R k because we are choosing in R k of course is less than R d of z x in R k is less than R. Then what is uh, if I take the linear combination means a line segment joining by n z if it also this every point on it this line segment belongs to the ball then ball will be a convex set. So, consider this set we are um, consider the distance of lambda x plus 1 min uh, uh, lambda y sorry y and z lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z distance from x is not that is equal to mod we are denoting mod of lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z minus x and this is in r k. So, need not to write r k, but I am just putting to avoid the confusion because this mod does not mean here the simply the absolute difference in as we say in the real line. So, it since the metric is taken from the r k. So, this mod means under root of this coordinate x 1 minus y 1 square x plus x 2 minus y 2 plus x n minus y n square of this. This is the meaning of this mod. Okay. So, this will be less than or equal to uh, lambda times mod y minus x plus 1 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda times this is uh, 1 minus mod mod uh, z minus x. Just adding and subtracting here uh, x and here x we are getting the same thing. Okay. Then mod minus 1, 1 minus lambda, but y and z all in ball. So, this is less than r plus 1 minus lambda into r and that will be nothing but what is less than r. So, this shows the line the point lambda y plus 1 minus lambda z is in the ball central radius and radius r and this is to for any arbitrary point y and z where y and z is an arbitrary point of the ball. So, entire line segment belongs to this where lambda lies between 0 and 1 therefore, ball is convex set is convex. This we will require it. So, we are given the concept set. Now, we have seen the concept of the open set, closed set etcetera in the general metric space. So, we also have few results uh, say in the form of example or maybe the theorem. The theorem says every neighborhood, neighborhood is an open set, is an open set. <laughs> so, proof is let us consider a neighborhood, a neighborhood centered at p with a radius r where the p is a point in r. So, we are taking say neighborhood I am just taking in the form of that suppose circle may be, but it may be depend on the space uh, in, in open set in you know. So, suppose centered is p with the radius say r. We want this neighborhood to be open. It means every point of this neighborhood, if it is the interior point, then it will be open set. So, consider uh, a point Q in this neighborhood. Let Q belongs to N R P. Okay. Then say there is Q. Find out its distance from P. So, one can find. So, there is a then there is a real uh, positive real number H. H such that the distance from P distance between P and Q is R minus S because Q is inside obviously the distance will be less than R. So, H can be obtained so that the distance is exactly this. Okay. Now, we wanted to show that there will exist a neighborhood around the point Q which is totally contained inside this uh, this N R P then N R P becomes open. So, consider the consider the uh, set or neighborhood neighborhood around the point q with a radius h say this is the set of all s belongs to 
nrp uh, uh, belongs to s such that not nrp with this we will show it is in there such that distance from this qs is strictly less than s is in r this is in r okay real line or r k space if it is so okay in r k and so on or r k any one of them clear so this we wanted is entirely contained in this this so let us find out distance consider the distance of this s s is somewhere here s from p then this is less than or equal to distance from s to q plus distance q to p but distance s to q is as less than h and this is r minus s so total is r it means the distance of s from p is less than r so this implies that s is an element in r p and r p neighborhood of the point p with radius r and since s is an arbitrary point basically in the disk in the disk with radius h so entire neighborhood the neighborhood n q h is totally contained in nrp this shows nrp is open because the point will be interior point and q is arbitrary and be since q is arbitrary point so every point is an interior point therefore it is an open set so this shows q is an interior point okay clear this is open uh, this subset means q is the interior point h or because q is interior point by the and since q is op arbitrary therefore it is completely open so this was the another results also which is also useful uh, if p is p is a limit point p is a limit point of a set of a set E, then every neighborhood, every neighborhood uh, of P contains contains infinitely many point of E. many points of E sorry. <laughs> what he says is that suppose this is a set E okay, and P is somewhere here say P this is P. Now, this P is a limit point of the set E if we draw any neighborhood around the point P suppose I draw any neighborhood around the point P then this neighborhood will definitely will contain infinitely many points of p then a p is a limit point then any neighborhood around the point p or every neighborhood of the point p will definitely include infinite number of points if it is not then p cannot be a limit point that we will show by so in order to prove this thing we will suppose that there is a neighborhood of the point p which does not include the infinite number point, but includes only finite number of points, then we will lead a contradiction. Okay. So, let us suppose, suppose, suppose there is a neighborhood, there is a neighborhood say capital N of P, which contains which contains only a finite number of point. number of points only a finite number of points of E say these points are q 1 q 2 k n. So, let q 1 q 2 and say q n uh, be those points be those points of n intersection E 
because this n this is our set n. So, n intersection C will be this set. So, this contains only finite number point k 1, k 2, k n which are distinct from which are distinct from p. Okay. So, now what we do? This is our point p. Here this is say uh, neighborhood n and here is something like e. This is our e. Okay. So, here are the points q 1, q 2, q n and so on. So, these are the points say q 1, these are the point q 2, these are the point q n, these are the points. Now, what we do is we find out the distances of these points from p. So, let us find the distances d of these points q m, where the m varies from 1 to 1 to n and then find out the minimum distance from this uh, p that is m 1 is less than equal to f. Find out the distance from q 1 to p, q 2 to p, q n to p and among all these 10 find out the minimum one, find the lowest one say and this distance is suppose r. Let r be this. Now, if we construct a neighborhood, take the neighborhood centered at the point P with the radius r. Then this neighborhood means set of those points x belongs to the neighborhood belongs to n intersection say E such that distance of P to x is strictly less than r. So, obviously, once you get this thing then what say what is this? This set will be empty set because x should be different from p because there are in this neighborhood this is the neighborhood n intersection e it contains only the q 1, q 2, q n only n point and the distances are taken from minimum distances r. So, if we find a neighborhood or point whose distance is still lower than r, then we do not get any point except p itself, but we want the p the point should be different from p. So, basically there is no such point an empty set. So, p is not element. So, this neighborhood does not contain uh, point of e which is different from p. So, this implies so this neighborhood does not contain does not contain uh, a point q of e which is different from which is different from p does not contain any q which is different from p so so p cannot be a limit point because by the definition of the limit point if p is a limit point then every neighborhood of p must contain at least few points of a at least some point of e which is so this contradiction in contradiction is because our wrong assumption that a neighborhood uh, there is a neighborhood which contains only finitely many points only finite number points so this is wrong this implies that the uh, every neighborhood of p will contain will contain infinitely many points of E. This proves the results. Okay. <coughs> now, as a corollary of this we can say a finite point set a finite point set has no limit point because again in a similar region we can give the limit has no limit points. Okay. Now, let us take few examples we are this suppose we have the sets like set of all complex numbers all complex numbers 
complex numbers z such that mod z is strictly less than 1. Then set of all complex number z such that mod z is less than equal to 1. Then C is a finite set. D is say set of all integer. Integers is the set consisting of the number is no? like this the set of all complex numbers set of all uh, complex numbers uh, set of all numbers of the form say 1 by n we are the n belongs to n natural number ok or numbers of this and e f set of all complex numbers complex numbers and then the segment a b the segment a b let us see this example and see whether these sets are closed which are open whether they are closed whether they are open whether they are perfect or whether they are bounded because these concepts we have already uh, seen. Now, you see the first one obviously it is not closed because closed means the uh, set is closed uh, when the uh, uh, mod of z is less than equal to 1. 1 is the point which is the limit point of this. So, it will not be a closed set. So, this will not be a closed set no. So, here is no then it is open because mod z less than every point will be the integer point it will be open then perfect set the set is set to be perfect if it is closed and every point of e is the limit point since mod z is less than 1 is not an uh, closed set then obviously it will be a uh, uh, it will be not be a perfect set and then bounded yes it is bounded by 1 means all the point of z is less than equal to 1 so it is a bounded set this set yes it is closed because all the points which are a, this limit point all belongs to it the limit point of c is a point of this limit point is there is not open because of the closeness is not open perfect though it is closed and then whatever the every point whether every point is the limit point or not yes it is inside the disk more than less than equal to 1 every point is an interior point when mod z less than 1 and 1 is also the limit point in it. So, it will be a perfect set then bounded yeah it is bounded because 1 is the finite set finite set it does not have any limit point. So, we can assume all the limit point inside it are there. So, we can say it is closed, but it is not open why it is not open because the finite set when you choose these are the sets these are the sets point. So, if we draw the neighborhood around the point p then we do not get any point other than this. So, this not be an interior point. So, it will not be an open set since it is closed, but no limit point. So, we can uh, say this set is not perfect because every point must be the limit point perfect set is closed and every point of p is a limit point, but every point is not a limit point. So, it is not and then of course, it is bounded because no only finite number of there we can identify a point find out its distance you know, from this particular point. So, you can find a m upper bound. So, that this is bounded set of integers set of integers this is closed set again the same thing set of integers uh, the point every point uh, is not a limit point because again there is a gap between 1 and 2 1 and 2 there is a gap. So, we can draw the neighborhood around the point 1 which does not include any integer. So, 1 cannot be limit point similarly all other integers did not have a limit point. So, set of integer does not have a limit point, but we can assume all the limits points inside it. So, we can say it is a closed set say D, okay. but it is not open because the point are not interior. So, it is not open then it is perfect again every point is not a limit point. So, it is not a perfect and whether this is bounded or not obviously, this is 1 2 3 is unbounded set we cannot find a n. So, that all the point is less than equal to n. So, this is not bounded then set of all numbers 1 by n 0 is the limit point for this 
except 0, no other point is the limit point for this. So, this set is not closed E is not closed because uh, closed means all the limits point belongs to this because 0 is not a point in it. So, 0 is a limit point which is not in. So, it is not closed. It is not an open set why because the point 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3 they are not the limit points. They again they are not an limit, limit point therefore, it is not open, it is not a perfect set. However, it is bounded because the bound is for bound is 1. Set of complex number is an entire set we can say all the limit points are inside as well as every point is the limit uh, interior point because we can draw the ball uh, around each point which is totally contained in the complex plane. So, it is open. So, it is uh, open closed it is perfect also because all the points are limit point every point is in limit point. So, we can say it is perfect and then bounded set is no because it is unbounded plane segment segment is not an uh, closed because it is an open segment it is an open uh, set but when you stay the segment a b then the openness depends on the topology on the set suppose i take a b as a subset of r1 then it is open then it is open but if we take a b as a subset of r2 then it is not open. Why? Because it is not open, because every point of this set is not a, a interior point. The reason is in this case we can choose this is a set a b, whatever the point you choose you can draw the neighborhood around that point which is totally contained in, but in this case the a b interval is this, this is our a b and the neighborhood when you take the neighborhood will be something like this. So, here the points are available here which are not the points belonging to the set. So, we can say this point cannot be an integer point. So, similarly others. So, it cannot be an open set it is uh, then it is not open it is not open set in R 2. So, that is important for this. So, that is why we are not here and further perfectness is not there. So, we can say across and then bounded yes, because its bound is a b, whatever the topology you take if bounded. So, you can this. So, this way we can identify. Now, here this shows this example shows that openness or closed net are relative concept. Say the set which is a subset of a set which uh, which is the set uh, of which it is a subset. So, it, with respect to that whether it is open or not, if we consider a b as a subset of r then obviously, it is open, but when you consider a b as a subset of r 2 then it is not open. So, it is a relative concept. So, we can further in uh, give a definition of the openness or closeness with respect to the set that is called the relative open relatively open or relatively closed sets. So, we can Okay. Now, <laughs> the results are further. So, uh, we have another results theorem. The theorem is a set E is open is open if and only if its complements. complement is closed. Complement means that is if x e is a subset of x, x d be a metric space then complement of this means denoted by e c which is x minus e. Complement of this set is closed. Okay. So, proof is. So, let us suppose e c is closed. Suppose the complement of this set e c is closed then what we want is to show E is open required to prove is E is open. It means every point of E is an interior point. So, choose an element x belonging to E. If I prove that there is a neighborhood around the point x which is totally contained in E then E becomes open. Okay. 
Now, since x is in E and E complement is the set of those points which are not in E. So, clearly x is not an element of E complement. Okay? Uh, and so, x is not a element of this. Now, further x is not a uh, limit point of E complement and x is not a limit point of E complement E complements. Okay. So, is why is not a limit point of the complement because the reason is E complement is closed E complement is closed. So, closed by definition all the limits point must be the point of the set if set is closed if it includes all of its limit points. So, if x is not in E C, so x cannot be limited because if it is a limit point it must be the point of E C. So, here is this E and this is our space x d and here this is E C. So, we are taking a point x here which is in uh, x sorry we are taking x here. Now, what we say is b x is neither in E C nor is a limit point of E C. Okay. So, there will be a some neighborhood around the point we can draw which is totally away from E C or does not intersect with E C and lies in it. So, there exists hence there exist there exist because it is not a limit point it is not a limit point. So, we can find out a neighborhood around the point x which is totally away from E C or intersect of E C is empty. So, there will exist a neighborhood n of x such that the neighborhood n of x such that intersection with E C is empty. Okay, because it is not limit point and if it is limit point then every neighborhood of x must contain some point of E C. So, we, since it is not a limit point we can identify a neighborhood whose intersection with this empty we do not have any point inside this neighborhood. That is the neighborhood is totally contained in E because it contains only the points of E. Okay. So, what they showed that x is a point who, around which we have a neighborhood and which is totally contained in E this shows that E is open this shows x is an interior point of E hence and x is arbitrary, but x is arbitrary point of E. So, every point has an uh, is an interior point therefore, E is open clear. So, this shows the concept conversely suppose E is given to be open conversely let us assume E is open we wanted to show the close E C is closed. Okay. So, to show E C is closed. So, we wanted to prove that all the limits point of the E C are the points in E. So, let x be the limit point of E C. We see, okay. <laughs> if either the, once it is the neighbor, limit points and every neighborhood of x will include the point of E C. So, every neighborhood of x, every neighborhood contains a point of E C. So, once the every neighborhood contains the point of E C, it means x cannot be an interior point of E C, because if it is an interior point, then there will be a neighborhood around the point x, which is totally contained in E, but every neighborhood contains the point of E C also. So, this shows that uh, this neighborhood, this x cannot be an interior point of E. 
cannot be an interior point of view. Okay. The further what is given is E is open further since E is open E is open. Uh, so, what do you mean? It means if x is a point in E then because E is open so x must be an interior point, but here we have shown x is not an interior point therefore, this implies that x cannot be in E. So, this implies that x will be in E complement. So, it will be an E complement this follows that E complement is closed that is what is proved. Okay. So, uh, now, as a corollary of this we can corollary a set f is closed closed if and only if its complement is open. Complement means f is a subset of x complement means f c which is x minus c is closed is open. Okay. Now, this proof goes just the previous from the previous tholum we can drive this corollary easily there is no point of wasting time. Now, following results holds for any collection for any collection G alpha of open sets where alpha belongs to the index set sets the union of G alpha when alpha belongs to i, i is the index set, alpha is in i, i is the index set, okay. then g alpha is open. This is one. Second result says for any collection, for any collection f alpha of closed sets closed sets the intersection arbitrary intersection this is arbitrary union arbitrary intersection f alpha alpha belongs to i is closed. Third for any finite collection for any finite collection g 1 g 2 g n of open sets. The finite intersection of these open sets is open D is for any finite collection for any finite collection and for any finite collection f 1 f 2 f n of closed set of closed sets the finite union of these f i s is closed. So, here this c and d is not valid for a arbitrary or infinite collection or countable intersection of g i and countable union of f i is not valid may not be true. Okay, so, only for finite case is true. The proofs again follows like this. It is given that each alpha g alpha for each alpha is a open set. We want the arbitrary union is open. So, let us take a point let x belongs to the arbitrary union of g alpha alpha belongs to this. It means uh, that then x will belongs to g alpha for some alpha belongs to i, but g alpha is open is an open set. So, there exists a neighborhood around the point g which is totally contained inside it. So, so uh, x will be an interior point of g alpha that is there exists a neighborhood 
n with set suitable radius delta such which is totally contained totally contained in G L 1. Hence, hence this neighborhood n x delta will also contain in the countable union of G alpha. So, this implies x is also an interior point of union G alpha, alpha belongs to i, but x is in arbitrary, but x is in arbitrary point. So, what we say that countable union of G alpha is obtained because every point becomes the integer point. So, this implies that countable union G alpha alpha belongs to y is an open set. Similarly, for the part b, part b follows from this result we know this is a simple set theoretical result uh, arbitrary intersection of this if I come find the complement of this, this becomes the arbitrary union of the complement of this f alpha c. Now, what is given is f alpha is closed. So, f alpha c will be open since f alpha is closed. So, this implies that complement of this f alpha c is open and right hand side is the arbitrary union of the open sets, right side side is open. Therefore, this implies the left hand side will be open. So, this implies the left hand side is open. So, complement of complement is closed. So, this implies that arbitrary intersection alpha belongs to i is closed. That is proofs. Then second uh, uh, c part we wanted to show that finite intersection of the open set is open. So, let us take h is the finite intersection of g i, i is 1 to n, where g i's are open sets, are open sets. So, let us take the point x belongs to h, let x belongs to h. So, this implies that x belongs to g i for each i 1 to n. Now, each g i is open. So, there will be a neighborhood around the each g uh, around x with a suitable radius r i. So, we can say, uh, so there exist neighborhoods n i of x with radii with radii r i where i is 1 to n such that the n i this neighbor is contained in G i when i is 1 to n means each n x x is in all G i. So, for each i there will be a neighborhood n i which is totally contained in G i. Now, choose the radius r choose r as the minimum of these r 1 r 2 r n. So, if we draw the neighborhood then the neighborhood with a centered x and radius r obviously will contained in g i for each i 1 to n. Therefore, it will contain this intersection contained in the intersection which is h. So, this shows that h is open h is open. Okay. The second part follows in the same d that is uh, finite collection is like. So, a b c d d follows as earlier. So, Nina. now let us take the uh, case when there are infinite intersection. So, c and d does not do not hold for arbitrary arbitrary intersection and union respectively. The examples are 
suppose I take the g n as minus 1 by n 1 by n, then these are all open sets, but the intersection of g n n is 1 to infinity is the singleton set 0 which is closed. Similarly, similarly if we take the say our f n h say 1 by n n 1 these are all closed sets. The arbitrary union of these f n's n is 1 to infinity is the semi closed interval 0 to 1 which is not closed. So, this shows the arbitrary intersection they are not true. Okay. <coughs> now, we define the concept of the uh, sets. Okay. Okay. If x is a metric space, x is a metric space and if E is a subset of x and if E dash uh, denotes it denotes the set of denote the set of all limit points set of all limit points of E of x x then the closure of closure of E is the set is the set denoted by E bar which is E union E dash E union E dash. So, closure of this. So, what is this is closure means suppose a set E is given then set of all limits points if I include it in E then the collection will be uh, known as closure. Of. So, closure of the set is the set which includes all of its limit point as well as the point of E of course then there is a result theorem is if x is a metric space metric space and E is a subset of x then the closure of this set E bar is closed set B if E is equal to E bar that is uh, then if and only if if and only if E is closed and third is if E bar is contained in F for every closed every closed set F which is contained in X such that E is contained in F F it means that is E bar closure of this is the smallest is the smallest closed set subset of x that contains that contains e the proof is simple just i will give the first proof a e wall is closed e is given to be it is then closure of this is closed so let us say if p belongs to x and p is suppose not in the closure okay then p is neither a point p does not belongs to s as well as as well as p is not a limit point of this as well as p is not a limit point of this so once it is not there so there exist a neighborhood there exist a neighborhood n uh, n which does not intersect does not intersect with e with e so if does not intersect with e then complement of E bar is therefore open. Therefore, E bar is open. E complement of this is open. E C is open. Uh, comp uh, then the complement E C of E bar C is open. Complement of E bar C is open, and this shows E is closed. This shows E bar is closed. Sorry, this shows E bar is closed. So that's second and third part follows very easily. So we are just dropping and getting. Thank you very much. Okay.